let's look at the third set three reviewers amal bimal and komal were tasked with selecting questions from a pool of 13 questions question 1 to question 13 questions can be created by external subject matter experts smes or by one of the three reviewers each of the reviewers either approves or disapproves a question that is shown to them their decisions lead to eventual acceptance or rejection of the question in the manner described below if a question is created by an sme it is reviewed first by amal then by bimal if both of them approve the question then the question is accepted and is not reviewed by komal if both disapprove the question it is rejected and it is not reviewed by komal if one of them approves the question and the other disapproves it then the question is reviewed by komal then the question is accepted only if she approves it so for an sme originating question a question that comes from an sme it can have six story lines amal approves it bimal approves it komal does nothing and it is out result will be approved you could also have an sme originated question amal rejects it bimal rejects it and the result is it is rejected now the contradictory or different story lines is let's say amal accepts it bimal rejects it now it goes to komal if komal accepts it it is published or accepted we could also have the story line where amal accepts it bimal rejects it komal also rejects it and then it is not accepted we could also have the story line where amal rejects it bimal accepts it komal accepts it and the result is it is published or sme amal rejects it bimal accepts it and komal rejects it so we get the question is not accepted it is not to, it is rejected these are the six different ways in which the story line can work these are the six different ways in which the story line can work when it is an sme originated question okay a question created by one of the reviewers is decided upon by the other two if the question is created by amal then it is first reviewed by bimal if bimal approves the question then it is accepted if bimal approves the question then it is accepted otherwise it is reviewed by komal if the question is then accepted only if komal approves it so now see amal originated questions i will have this amal bimal komal here still here amal will of course not review his own question if bimal approves it then it is uh, result is accepted amal originated question amal originated let's say bimal rejects it and komal accepts it it is still accepted amal's originated question bimal rejects it komal's rejected only then does it get rejected okay for amal we know this let's see what happens when it is a bimal originated question a similar process is followed for questions created by bimal whose questions are first reviewed by komal so if komal accepts it it is accepted if komal rejects it then amal accepts it then it is published bimal originated questions the order goes komal then amal then also one more outcome is komal rejects it amal rejects it only then the only then is the question rejected okay finally question created by komal are first reviewed by amal and then if required by bimal so komal also has a similar setup a komal originated question first is checked by amal if he approves it is accepted what if he doesn't approve then if bimal approves it is accepted if amal rejects bimal also rejects then it is rejected these are the 15 storylines 
that can happen with a question these are the 15 story lines that can happen with a question when is it accepted when is it rejected from this all i want you to take away or all i want you to pay attention to if all three people amal bimal and komal have reviewed a question it has to be an sme originated question if all three people have reviewed a question it has to be an sme originated question so as long as we have that information we have to simply record information in the following table and everything else will flow fairly smoothly let's go through it quickly we have information about which questions were rejected and which questions were accepted we have question 2 is rejected question 6 is rejected question 9 is rejected question 11 is rejected question 12 is rejected so the remaining questions are accepted we also have information which questions amal reviewed amal reviewed question 2 question 3 question 4 question 6 question 8 question 10 question 11 and question 13 now bimal reviewed question 2 question 4 question 6 now see it says question 6 through question 9 means every question in between bimal 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 question 13 and 12 finally for komal question 1 through 5 so komal 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 question 7 komal and uh, then what question 7 question 8 also komal question 9 also komal question 11 also komal and question 12 also komal and this is it these are the questions that they have done now look at depending on the story lines that we have komal is the only person reviewing a question and it is approved the source one komal approved of it and the source must have been bimal bimal must have created that question so that the first person to review is komal and she approves and it is done now we have three people reviewing it so the source must be an sme within this we also know because the question got rejected komal definitely rejected the question but for amal and bimal which questions they up, uh, which of these two people approved and which of these two people rejected we don't know one of them approved one of them rejected okay for question 3 two people are reviewing it and it is getting approved which two people are reviewing it amal and komal so which means this question must have originated from bimal and koval must have disapproved of it had she approved of it it would have been accepted straight away the fact that it is going to amal for review means that komal rejected it if komal rejected it amal must have accepted it for the question to be accepted finally okay now for question 4 for question 4 because three people are reviewing it of course it originated at as at an sab and because finally it is getting accepted komal approved of it komal approved of it but between amal and bimal who approved of it we don't know who disapproved of it we don't know we will let it be for question 5 the story line is identical to question 1 komal got approved the question it originated with bimal okay for question 6 for question 6 now see the question is getting rejected after amal and bimal have seen it there could be two cases either the question originated at komal and amal rejected it and bimal rejected it or the question originated at an sme and amal rejected it and bimal rejected it in both these cases amal and bimal are definitely rejecting the question but either question is originating at komal or at sme for question 7 bimal is checking it first amal is not checking it now two people are checking it and it is accepted which means komal must have accepted it bimal must have rejected it and the question originated at amal for question 8 because all three people are reviewing it must have originated at an sme komal must have accepted it between a and b who accepted who rejected we don't know we will leave it be for question 9 two people are reviewing not amal so it has to be 
uh, originating at A. Question seven and question nine have an ident. Oh, one minute, one minute. Question seven and question nine are identical to the extent that uh, A is the source, but the outcome is different. He also rejected it. Komal also rejected it. Bimal and Komal both rejected it. For question 10, Amal is the only person reviewing it and the question is accepted, which means the question must have originated at Komal. Now for question 11, it is getting rejected. It is only reviewed by Komal and Amal. So Komal must have rejected it. Amal must have rejected it. And the question must have originated at Bimal. Now for question 12, Bimal and Komal are the only ones reviewing it and the question is rejected. Must have originated at Amal. Bimal rejected it. Komal rejected it. For question 13, there are two cases. Either it started at Komal or it started at an SME. If it started at an SME and was accepted after Amal and Bimal, both of them must have approved of it. If it started at Komal, Amal must have disapproved of it and Bimal must have approved of it. This much we know for certain. This much we know for certain. Let us get to individual questions. This is simply based upon the 15 outcomes that can happen for questions. How many questions were definitely created by Amal? We know question 7, question 9 and question 12. These three questions were definitely created by Amal. How many questions were definitely created by Komal? The only question that Komal definitely created was question 10. There is a possibility she created question 6. There is a possibility she created question 13, but we cannot be certain. The answer for the second part has to be one. There is just one question that Komal definitely created. How many questions were definitely created by the SMEs? Question 2 was definitely created by SME. Question 4 was definitely created by SME. Question 8 was definitely created by SME. Question 6 and question 13, we can't be certain. So answer to the third question is also 3. Question 14, how many questions were definitely disapproved by Bimal? Questions that Bimal gave a no to. Let's see. For question 2, we can't be certain. For question 4, we can't be certain. For question 6, regardless of what the source was, Bimal definitely disapproved. For question 7, he disapproved. For question 9, he disapproved. For question 12, he disapproved. So there are four questions for which Bimal definitely disapproved. Answer to question number 14 is option B. For question 15, the approval ratio of a reviewer is the ratio of the number of questions he or she approved to the number of questions he or she reviewed. Which option best describes Amal's approval ratio? Let's look at Amal. Amal has definitely approved two questions, question three and question 10. Because I'm looking at the range, I'm looking at the worst case possible. Amal only approved two questions out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Worst case, his approval ratio is 25%. Best case approval ratio, if I have to look at. See, question 6, he definitely disapproved. Question 11, he definitely disapproved. But for every other question, let him approve. So his best case approval ratio is 6 by 8, which is equal to 75%. So the acceptable range is 75, 25% to 75%. So now... The approval ratio of the reviewer is the ratio of the number, blah, blah, blah. Which option best describes Amal's approval ratio? Lies between 0 0.25 and 0 0.5? Not really. Either 0 0.25 or 0 0.75. It is just picking the two extreme values. Not really. 0 0.25, it is just picking one extreme values. Not really. Lies between 0 0.25 and 0 0.75. Hopefully you can see that this is not the perfect choice. Because it says between these two, whereas these two are also acceptable cases. But among the available options, this is the best representation and therefore has to be the answer. Okay, last question. How many questions created by Amal or Bimal were disapproved by at least one of the other reviewers? Let's look at them. Bimal wala question, not disapproved. So this one, question three should be counted. Not question five, not question six. 
क्वेश्चन सेवन शुड बी काउंटेड क्रिएटेड बाई अमल डिसअप्रूव बाई बिमल क्वेश्चन नाइन शुड बी काउंटेड क्रिएटेड बाई अमल डिसअप्रूव बाई बोथ ऑफ दम क्वेश्चन इलेवन शुड बी काउंटेड क्रिएटेड बाई बिमल डिसअप्रूव बाई बोथ ऑफ दम क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व शुड बी काउंटेड क्रिएटेड बाई अमल डिसअप्रूव बाई बोथ ऑफ दम सो देर आर फाइव क्वेश्चन इन टोटल answer to question number 16 is option b 5 and that is the entirety of this set